So good afternoon, my name is David Nixon and today is Wednesday the 5th of September 2018 and we're here to uh, do a Hadley Media Project. My contact information by phone, the office phone is 413-586-0221 and my email is admin at hadleyma.org. If anybody has any questions or would like some follow-up with a description of about the topics I'm about to dig into. This is a Hadley Media project. We're just doing this, working out how the, the functions and the purpose of this for the first time. The whole idea is to bring uh, information to Hadley's viewing uh, public. Still a work in progress. The format in general is either a summary of projects and governmental processes and important community events that may be of interest to viewers, or we uh, get into a more focused discussion about a particular topic, like such as the last time when we were on air, we were talking about the ambulance exclusively. So today, we're going to go through um, a list of information and processes that should be of interest to you. Uh, first of all, voting. Yesterday was the primary for the state, and I want to say a big thank you to Hadley voters. We had turnout of 1,049 thereabouts, which represents just a little shy of 26% of the voting registered voters in the town of Hadley. So good for you. Thank you very much. Uh, we've settled some very important races. We now have a Western Massachusetts legislative delegation with whom we intend to work in uh, to bring the concerns, interests, values, and needs of the, of the region to Boston's okay. attention. Um, the next election is the, uh, is the state election. That's going to be Tuesday, November 6, 2018, and the polling place is going to be Hopkins Academy. So make sure you exercise your right to vote. It's a sacred right in this country. Not everybody around the world has that kind of right, and so it's important that we exercise it. So thank you for those who participate and encouragement to those who wish to participate and, and are not able to uh, this past Tuesday, but you've got another chance coming up. The other thing I'd like to touch on is the newspaper article about the Hadley Elementary School. It's a very nice article about the HVAC project, heating and air conditioning, ventilation uh, project that went in. I, what the newspaper didn't mention was just how much hard work that was on the part of Superintendent Ann McKenzie and the business manager, Chris Desjardins. They really did a lot of heavy lifting to make sure that that project was completed by the time that the students came back. And so now our students are able to uh, enjoy the learning environment, which is climate controlled. And uh, we have not had to delay opening or close early or close altogether, such as so many other school districts in the Valley. So kudos to them. The other bit of big news is that uh, Mr. Marla Warner has, uh, has uh, announced that he's going to work for the city of Greenfield. And so we're sorry to see him go. We understand that this is the most um, uh, this is the, the most advantageous uh, decision for him and his family to make. So we wish him well. Uh, we are looking for a replacement, and so if you have an interest, send a letter and a cover, a cover letter and a resume to me by October 1st, 2018. So the other thing that I wanted to touch upon was grants and how we use them in the town of Hadley. Uh, grants for a small town and for large towns as well, an important source of special revenue, sometimes recurring revenue for uh, our ability to provide governmental services and to get special projects done. Grants come in the form of funded in total, funded in part, and not funded at all, but we get services and, and uh, we take advantage of all kinds of 
grant opportunities. I just wanted to touch on a few of them. This is not ex uh, intended to be an exhaustive list or a comprehensive description of the grants, but the, we have three Mass Works grants in, in, up, uh, in application right now. One for lining the sewer line along Route 9 for the widening project. That grant is for $700,000. The next one is for the reconstruction of Roosevelt Street, and that is for $50,000. And then a final grant to improve parking in the center village for $30,000. So we are hopeful that we're get, going to get that. We also applied to the Housing Choice Small Town Capital Improvement Program to uh, provide infrastructure for affordable housing. <laughs> We have a grant application for $95,000 to improve water service to affordable housing. The police department has a governor's highway safety grant, which is mainly there for, to enhance traffic safety above and beyond what the taxpayers provide their services. And also the, we have a UMass partnership, which is going to give us $14,000 for an additional radar sign to help control speeding and other traffic related matters. We're going to be applying for a safety grant through the Massachusetts Interlocal Insurance Agency. We get those every year. We've used them in the past for highway, for police, for fire. This year we're going to provide an application for the school to increase safety there. Uh, we just finished up a project with Community Compact IT uh, grant support for 50000 for the uh, sewer pump station project, and we're going to be applying to up to $100,000 for additional IT support for the town of Hadley. That application is in development and will be submitted next week. The Russell Brook, Russellville Brook culvert was damaged during Hurricane Irene, and uh, that old culvert on Route 47 has to be replaced. The state has very generously agreed to place that on the Transportation Improvement Program for $900,000. So that project will move forward sometime in the future uh, and at no cost for the Hadley taxpayers, but it's an important bridge culvert that needs to be replaced. Uh, associated with that project, in order to provide a viable detour route, we uh, applied to Mass Works for a grant to pave the remaining portion of Shattuck Road. That work has been accomplished. We also applied in for and received an efficiency and regionalization grant through the Com Community Compact, and that has underwritten the work for the first year of the Pioneer Valley Mosquito Control District of which we are a member. That grant is for $150,000. So we have a uh, application in for the Direct Local Technical Assistance Grant. Now Direct Local T Technical Assistance Grants is in that category of grants where we don't get any direct money or payment, but we do get somebody else to pay for the services of an expert in a particular field. Uh, our regional planning agency, Pioneer Valley Planning Commission, is our, our go-to people for DLTA grants, and we've used them very successfully for uh, stormwater planning for the new MS4 permit, planning in general for special projects, particularly having to do with uh, adult-use marijuana, and regional services such as accounting and so forth. And then from time to time, uh, PVPC uh, gives us an opportunity to apply for community development block grants to improve senior housing. We've applied several years in a row. Unfortunately, we've not been able to secure a grant, but we keep on missing by very small margins. So uh, next time that that comes around, that uh, we will apply. That's federal pass-through money that comes to the Commonwealth and then is given out. Uh, so we rely upon a federal budget for those grant opportunities. So that's a very short list of the kinds of grant opportunities that we have either uh, secured or are we are in the process of securing or we intend to secure in the future. And just to touch upon a few community events, we have an important planning board meeting coming up next Tuesday, the 11th of November, 
the 11th of September, thank you, in uh, the Senior Center. Uh, that will be associated with the Senior Center project and the library project. So that's an important meeting to attend. We hope uh, that, that this will be the final uh, uh, meeting and we can have a decision on these two very important projects. We have uh, Zaturka Park project is now underway. The, uh, the Park and Rec Commission has been working on this and we expect that project to be completed in October. This will be the third and final reconstruction effort for Zaturka Park, so we should have a fully functioning park at the end of that. We have fire alarms going in for DPW. That project is uh, substantially complete, and the, right now they're putting it into Town Hall. That should be done in the next couple of days. We have a walkthrough for the North Hadley Village Hall sale. That'll be on Friday morning at 10 o'clock. That walkthrough starts at Hadley Town Hall, but then we'll go to the site, and that's for any prospective commercial real estate broker to help us sell that building. We have uh, water line flushing coming up. That'll be in the spring 2019. This is called unidirectional flushing and it's an effective and efficient way of uh, doing the annual flushing, which we're required by the state to do. So that is uh, under review internally right now and we'll do this in the spring. We have a special town meeting scheduled for October 18th. The Select Board Finance Committee are working hard on this. Capital Planning Committee, the Community Preservation Act Committee are working on this. So we're, we'll, and the Planning Board is working on, on zoning bylaws for that, project, for that uh, meeting. So that's an important one. October 18th, and that'll be over at Hopkins Academy. And then finally, we have American Legion Chicken to Go, September 16th, Fire Association Barbecue, September 21st, Public Forum on the Special Town Meeting, October 11th, and then finally, the Special Town Meeting on October 18th. There we are. <laughs>